Hello everyone, I'm Justin Wan. I'm an invasion ecologist currently based in JSU in China with a main research focus on invasive plants in stressful environments. During my postdoc at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Sydney, Australia, I worked on Phytophthora diseases attacking rare and threatened plant, uh, native plants, as well as um, data science projects on these diseases. One of the things that I found interesting was the um, evolutionary changes in the global potato and tomato blight populations through time. Today, I'll talk about my data projects on this topic. Potato late blight is a well-known disease caused by Phytophthora infestans, which was responsible for the Great Irish Potato Famine that caused millions of deaths in the mid-1800s. Today, along with tom uh, tomato late blight, which is caused by the same pathogen, it is among the most economically destructive of plant pathogens globally, costing billions of dollars in direct losses and in the use of pesticides each year. The disease could spread through the air in humid conditions and through the transport of um, infected plant material. Blight is present on all continents except for uh, Antarctica. There are many different strains of this pathogen that occurs in different areas. Some uh, may be fungicide resistant or tolerant to extreme conditions like cold or high latitudes. Strains also vary um, dr uh, drastically in um, host preference. On this spectrum, they can be equally aggressive on both potato and tom tomato hosts, which we would call um, generalist or non-specific, or they can um, infect only one of the hosts, which we can call uh, specialist or um, host specific. There has been continuous changes in the strains that are dominant across different regions of the globe. The factors that ch shape the population structure of the pathogen are not yet clear. Understanding these factors is important because new inv invasive strains can be resistant to particular types of fungicides, or they can cause sudden and very severe outbreaks on one or both hosts. Past studies found that more aggressive strains replace less aggressive ones, and strains that can attack both hosts are more likely to be successful. So we might expect that only strains that are both aggressive and generalists will dominate, but this is not the case. And Generalists often coexist with specialists at the same locations. A trade-off between generalism and aggressiveness could explain their coexistence, where the specialist strains are more aggressive on the host than generalist competitors. To test this trade-off, I gathered the data from pathogenicity trials published in the literature on strains from potato and tomato tested on both hosts. Using meta-analysis, I analyzed the relationship between the degree of host preference and aggressiveness, which is in terms of the speed of lesion growth on host tissue after um, artificial inoculation. The results suggest that host-specific populations tended to be more aggressive, which is supportive of this trade-off. This means that generalism tends to be costly to lesion growth rates and specialist strains could avoid being displaced by growing faster on the host tissue than uh, competing generalist strains. The data also indicated that recently from around 10 years ago uh, onwards, isolates, isolates from to tomato were mainly nonspecific, which are represented by generalist strains such as US-22, US-23, and 13A2. This change towards generalism over time wasn't observed uh, in the isolates from potato. So to conclude, routine controlled trials testing the pathogenicity of pathogens on both hosts would be very benef beneficial for the management of existing and new strains on potato and tomato. In particular, in predicting, uh, in predicting which strains will become dominant in the future seasons. Other avenues of research include long-term studies to better understand how pathogen traits relate to fitness or the persistence of um, strains in the field. This study was published in the European Journal of Plant Pathology. I've made the link available in the description to the audio. If you have any questions, I can be contacted on my email, which is in the article.